why what we really need are more leaders like our next guest. He's one of the few in Washington who truly wants the federal government to leave you alone. And if it did, it would be easy to make all the cuts necessary to bring down spending and pay off the debt. Here now, a Tea Party champion, Utah Republican Senator Mike Lee. Senator Lee, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Thank you. Will the government shut down this Friday night or Saturday morning? What's your best guess? I don't think so, but it really is difficult to predict at this point. I can tell you that not a single Republican in Washington wants a shutdown. And if we have one, it will be because the Democrats have refused to have any serious discussion of any serious cuts. Um, I understand that the Republicans are going to propose, the uh, Republicans on the House, since all this legislation, as you know, as a constitutional scholar, Senator Lee, must originate in the, in the House, uh, that the Republicans in the House are going to propose a continuing resolution for a week. Simply stated, another one of those snippets of authority for another week so that we'll go through all of this at the end of next week instead of the end of this week. How do the fiscal hawks and small government Tea Party folks like you feel about two weeks here, three weeks there, one more week, pushing away the tough decisions that ought to, ought to have been made yesterday until tomorrow? Well, a lot, of, a lot of us are concerned about it, and I think most of the American people would like to see a, a more holistic discussion of our budgetary problems. Uh, but, you know, the, in the abstract, I suppose there's nothing terribly wrong with doing it in brief snippets until we get an answer. The problem has been that none of these packages, none of these spending proposals have been accompanied by any uh, recommendation, any solution to the larger problem, a problem in which we have accumulated a national debt of almost $15 trillion, and we're adding to it at a rate of about $1.7 trillion a year. Uh, and unless or until we do that, I, I'm, I'm going to be reluctant to support any of these spending packages. All right. Here, here's where I understand things are uh, at the moment. Uh, Congressman Paul Ryan, who is the chairman of the House Budget Committee, has proposed a budget over the next 10 years, even though this Congress will only enact a budget for one year, which, if followed by this president and future presidents and congresses, would cut about six and a half to seven trillion from expenditures. That's truly a, a, a magnificent cut. Will that pass the Senate? Will the Democrats even vote for it, even if it gets through the House? Will the President of the United States even sign something like that? Because to me, Senator Lee, and I don't mean to be personal about the President, his behavior gives every indication of utter ignorance of the danger we face because of the debt we confront. He wants to increase the debt rather than shrink it. Yeah. And, and I'm not sure whether it's utter ignorance of that problem or whether it's utter reckless disregard for it. Uh, one way or another, this president has refused to lead. He's refused even to enter into uh, any serious discussion about this problem. And uh, I think that's irresponsible. I think it's reckless. I think it's unforgivable. And I think the voters will remember in 2012 what he's done, or more importantly, what he hasn't done. The president is campaigning today in Philadelphia and here in New York City. Instead of locking Speaker Boehner and Majority Leader Reid and a few others in a, in a room, not literally locking them, but getting them in there to hammer out their differences so we don't have this uh, shutdown. Uh, last question before we, before we go. Uh, even the enormous cuts that um, uh, uh, Representative Ryan has proposed, there's nothing cut from the defense budget. It keeps the wars funded, and it keeps the 900 milita U.S. military installations around the world still open and operating. What will it take for these people to get some sense and realize that the defense budget is bloated just like everything else? Well, I, I think, uh, as I've said many times before, what it's going to take is... Um, for Congress to get behind a balanced budget amendment requiring to Congress, uh, for, forbidding Congress from spending more than it takes in in a year. And then and only then will it realize that cuts have to be made everywhere. And, and we've got to be careful in certain areas like national defense, but the fact that we've got to be careful doesn't mean that we don't have to make any cuts. And I, I do applaud uh, uh, Congressman Ryan for his bold proposal. I, I think that is a very encouraging step in the right direction. I, I think it in and of itself is not sufficient, and I don't think he would maintain that it is sufficient to balance the budget. But it is a great step in that direction, and I applaud it. Got it. It must be accompanied by a balanced budget amendment. We've got to get that out this year. Got it. Senator Lee, thanks very much for joining us.